Hello everyone, my name is Gabby Jones. I am a consultant with Encryption Consulting. Encryption Consulting covers all the aspects of data protection landscape, such as encryption, data security, key management, and privacy. We help clients in understanding and implementing cybersecurity models as per their threat landscape. In today's video, we will be discussing an interesting cryptographic technique, hashing. This concept can be unique in its own way. Many people get confused between hashing and encryption. However, I can confidently tell you that both are quite different. As I've already mentioned, this video is purely dedicated to the concept known as hashing. Major benefits of hashing are to provide integrity for the data. Even if the user's focus is not to protect data, but to maintain integrity, hashing is the go-to option. The output of a hashing process is usually a fixed length, unique string, and it cannot be reversed to its original data. Even a slight change in the data leads to a different string. This helps in verifying the integrity of the data shared by the sender to receiver. Hashing usually involves a set of algorithms to convert the input data to output unique string. We'll be looking into these algorithms as well during the course of this video. And finally, we'll be discussing some of the prominent use cases for hashing techniques. What is hashing? Hashing is the algorithm-based process or technique which converts the input into a unique fixed length output. As already mentioned, once hashed, you cannot revert it to the original text or file. This is a key feature which helps in building many use cases leveraging hashing technique. Hashing is different from encryption. Encryption is used for securing the sensitive data, whereas hashing is used to protect the integrity of the important data. You can see a short, simplified pictorial version or depiction of how hashing process works. The input file contains the original data, which when ran through hashing algorithm outputs a unique string, which is nowhere related to the original data. Even a slight change in the original text will result in a different hash output. Algorithms are the heart for hashing processes. There are many critical algorithms involved in the hashing process. MD5, Message Digest 5 is a common hashing algorithm that produces a 128-bit hash. Hashes are commonly shown in a hexadecimal format instead of a stream of ones and zeros. For example, an MD5 hash is displayed as 32 hexadecimal characters instead of 128 bits. Hexadecimal characters are composed of four bits and use the numbers 0 through 9 and the characters A through F. SHA. Secure hash algorithm is another hashing algorithm. There are several variations of SHA grouped in four families, SHA0, SHA1, SHA2, and SHA3. SHA0 is the initial algorithm in the SHA series. Currently, it is not in use. SHA1 is an updated version that creates 160-bit hashes. This is similar to the MD5 hash, except that it creates 160-bit hashes instead of 128-bit hashes. SHA2 improved SHA1 to overcome potential weaknesses. It includes four versions. SHA256 creates 256-bit hashes, and SHA512 creates 512-bit hashes. SHA224 224-bit hashes, and SHA384, for that many hashes, create truncated versions of SHA256 and SHA512, respectively. SHA3, previously known as KECAC, excuse me if I pronounce that wrong, sorry, is an alternative to SHA2. The National Security Agency created SHA1 and 2. SHA3 was created outside of the NSA and was selected in a non-NSA public competition. It can create hashes of the same size as SHA2 from 224, 256, 384, and 512. HMAC. Another method used to provide integrity is with a hash-based message authentication code. An HMAC is a fixed length uh, string of bits similar to other hashing algorithms such as MD5 and SHA1, known as HMAC MD5 and HMAC SHA1. However, it also uses a shared secret key to add some randomness to the result, and only the sender and receiver know the secret key. Ripe MD. Race Integrity Primitives Evaluation Message Digest. 
RIPE-MD is another hash function used for integrity. It is not as widely used as MD5, SHA, and HMAC. Use cases. Hashing process with its unique features helps in achieving many business use cases in cybersecurity landscape. This will help in providing the integrity for the sender to the receiver. Recently, hashing is widely used in password verification processes. Hashing passwords. Passwords are stored as hashes with the service provider to provide privacy and integrity. When a user creates a new password, the system calculates the hash for the password and then stores the hash. Later, when the user authenticates by entering a username and password, the system calculates the hash of the entered password and then compares it with the stored hash. If the hashes are the same, it indicates that the user entered the correct password. Key strengthening. This process increases the strength of the password and protects from attacks such as brute force attacks and rainbow table attacks. Key strengthening techniques add the strength to the passwords by adding further random bits. This will enhance the password strength and provides high security. Two common key strengthening techniques are bcrypt and password-based key derivation function two, PBKDF2, message hashing. Messages which might not be sensitive but important to maintain integrity are hashed before sending it to end users. This process will provide end users with guarantee that the sender is genuine and they can trust the message or data. This is an important use case um, in today's digital world with high threats of password thefts. Complier operations. Keywords of a programming language are processed by compliers and stored using hash tables. To differentiate between the keywords of a programming language, if, else, for, return, etc., and other identifiers, uh, and is successfully able to compile the program, the successful um, complier stores all these passwords, excuse me, keywords in a set which is implemented using a hash table. This brings us to the end of our video. We are going to bring you more interesting cryptographic information and content soon in our next video. If your organization is looking for implementation of hashing, please consult info at encryptionconsulting.com for further information. Thank you.